when I talk to other folks who are 3G, um, we tend to think of our grandparents as heroes, um, in some cases um, as superheroes. And if you ask the grandparents themselves, they consider themselves ordinary people. I think it's because their story is my story. It's not, uh, it doesn't live in the past, it lives very much in the present. Um, and I know that it has shaped me um, entirely into who I am, into what I do professionally. The legacy of my grandparents has really left a mark in who I am and what I feel I can accomplish. Partisan is an amalgam of different stories that are about my grandparents um, or my great uncle, Joe. Hearing all those stories really just instilled in me that I have to continue the Jewish traditions and I'm here because of them. I feel like the reason that I'm on this earth is to tell his story, is to continue his legacy. I just feel like it was meant to be. The Lita Society is very important to me because it enables me to honor my grandparents, to help spread the story of what happened there and help other people understand that there were Jews who fought back, there were Jews who rescued other Jews, that we didn't just take this like a sheep going to the slaughter. And to tell that story and have pride in that story is a privilege. So my grandparents have taught me how to be proud of who I am, how to be loyal to my family, to the Jewish people, and to the state of Israel, and how to really stand up for what is right and important and good in this world. For me, teaching about resistance encourages people to stand up for what they believe in. And if God forbid one day they're in a situation where the Jews are being slaughtered again, God forbid, my children, please God, will stand up and fight back, you know, and keep the Jewish legacy alive. We as 3G have a responsibility to make sure that people know what happened, to share the stories, um, to share the lessons that were learned, and to help ensure something like this will never happen again. It's important for the future generations to know that. We are not who we are because we've arrived. We are who we are because of who came before us and who cared enough to love us and to create life for us.